Ah, uh, yes, my Jenners. How are you doing? My ducks and drakes. It has been so long, you're right. It's f flipping been... It's been four weeks, I think, since we've been live, 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 live together in this space, this beautiful virtual space. So, great, great, great to see you, man. Oh, I mustn't leave it so long again. Let's do it again next Sunday. Yes. The inimitable, the one and only, bit of fluff on my computer, Simon Goulding. Yes, I may more jaw. Kiss me lots. And um, what a privilege last night. Mrs. G was at the gig in Morecambe. Mercedes and Mr. G. Daddy. Daddy Goulding, Derek. Great to see them both. Yeah. Morecambe. That was a homecoming. More Morecambe stories later, maybe. Yeah. So I've only just got home. I stayed in the best Western last night, but it was the worst Western. Ooh. I was waiting for them to say, when you check out, was everything all right? <laughs> I had this big list, but they never said that. <laughs> so I thought, I'm not going to bother. Yes, indeedy. So, I left you in spring. And I returned in summer. So we should have the summer song. It's flipping summer out there, it's light.
Yeah, the summer song. <clears throat> so it's straight from Morecambe to Huddersfield after the worst western. And that was nice, an afternoon gig. It's a bit weird playing when it's light, but it's light now. <sighs> Saw Sue and Midge. Yay. And lots of other people. First time in a new venue. Small venue, right on a main road. So me and Gareth were a bit mean. He made everybody shut the windows and doors. Because otherwise you can't hear it. It's music, it's for listening to. <laughs> so we were, all, we were all sweating conkers until the interval. Got to suffer for your art. Or they had to suffer for our art. <laughs> sorry, Sue, sorry, Midge. <sighs> Finally home. The things don't seem to have changed much. Been away for three weeks. And exactly the same two bottles of red wine beside the cooker. <sighs> what have they been living on? <laughs> don't understand it. Very strange. Yeah. I don't know. But you lot, like, you lot have been all right. You survived without me. Somehow, it must have been hard. <laughs> Junior Walker. Yes, Mr. Junior. Played a junior one last night. What was it? Walk in the night. Yeah. Sally Rettens was living a bit dangerously. 
and flying in from Spain and going straight to a gig. The dangerous bit was, well, we thought the dangerous bit was whether the flight would even exist or whether it would be on time. It actually was. But then the un unseen danger was I was a bit tired and I got to Morecambe and uh, dropped my alto sax out of the car and smashed it to bits. But then uh, I remember that Ian was coming to the gig, Ian Grundy, and Ian's a tenor player, a fine tenor player. I didn't know if he had an alto or not. So I rang him, <laughs> and he did have an alto. He was 110 years old, belonged to his dad, but uh, saved the day. I was in departures in, um, where was I, Malaga. And I heard these two fellas speak in uh, <clears throat> foreign. It was, I reckon, Eastern European. And I was doing a bit of earwigging, you know, zoning in, trying to work out what language they were speaking. Uh, they were Geordies. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Where's my boys? Where's my fakies who've been looking after you? Come on, fellas. <laughs> Snakey and the fakey boys. I've got a message from. Oh. 
Right. This is show number 198. Ooh. That's a lot of time that we spent in the Zen Den, you guys. Quality time. Oops. So I've been down in uh, Granada uh, doing what we call horn camps. So we did that arrangement of um, Watermelon Man. But instead of having to have the fakies, I had real sax players. It was great. I was going to show you some pictures if I can. I will. I'll show, I'll show some Granada pictures. There's one of my teams. That was week three. It's Crazy John. Crazy Janet. And the gang. It's just outside the house. And... Yep, same week, out in the gorge. That's my week two gang. He's a, he's a great player, he is. Well, all great. He's particularly great. Mr. Neil Carr. Watch out for him if you're in Manchester. The Manchester, the northwestern area, I should say. That's a bit sad that we're inspecting our reeds for weak bits that we need to shave off. And there's my week one gang in the gorge. That's my week two gang. That's the Alhambra in Granada. Have you guys been there? You should, it's, I recommend it. Oh. <laughs> Oops. We had goats and everything. Look at that. Our own little flock of goats in a goat herd. <laughs> Hola. Oh, that was so nice. Our own pet goats. That's the view from just up the hill behind the house. It's Johnny's house. What a wonderful place it is. I don't know what that is. Does anybody know what that is? It's got one of those things on it. But I don't know. And, uh, it's, near, it's in the foothills of the uh, Sierra Nevada mountains, and that's the uh, Los Cajoras famous walk around the, up the gorge, which we can do from the back door. You have to kind of crawl under this thing. It's not as bad as it looks. And cross these hanging bridges. It's really exciting. Oh, there's my week three gang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I adapted my porridge because the uh, cherries were in season. So it's now broccoli, ginger, nuts and all kinds of weird things. A bit of yoghurt and cherries as well. There are massive grasshoppers out there. And stick insects. <laughs> oh, and I that's my favourite kind of lizard. I don't know what he's called but he can walk on ceilings and everything. Delia, are you watching in? That's great. All my gang is home safe. I love a goat. I love a goat, don't you? Oh, they were hammering past the front the front door. You'll see the goat dog in a minute. Where's the goat dog? <laughs> Cheeky things. Or maybe we won't see the goat dog. No, we'll see Angie, who was looking after us. John's wife. <laughs> Everybody loves a goat, don't they? Unless you get butted by one. <clears throat> what lovely teams I had. Teams of sax players. Another view from behind the house. Up in the gorge. Oh, you must all come. <laughs> Some wildflowers for Celia. 
It's like Scotland. A wild iris. I'd never seen a wild iris before. I love that. Yeah. Come on, we all need to go. <laughs> he was a bit in the distance, so it's not very clear. I think it was an ibok or an ibeck or an ibrox. So what do, we call, do you call them? That's looking down on the village from up on the hill. And again. And again. And the poppies, well, the, the order, my order's gone bananas now. Oh, you've got to love a wild iris, haven't you? Oh, you can tell I like them. Oh, and the, and the billy goats. Anyway, that's enough. I'll be boring you. I would never want to do that. Oop, how do I get back? Help. I'm back. I love it that I can show you guys my holiday snaps. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a holiday, I was working. But it was such fun. There's such such lovely people come to those camps. Sax players and trumpet players. And we had good times. It's kind of like being on tour where you all have to look after each other. And not too many mosquito bites this time. More music, what should we have? What should we have? I know. Let's have a sing. Marky boy. Yeah. I got the sunshine on a car. I got the month for me. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess that you will say what can make you feel this way. It's my girl. Ooh, talking about my girl. So much honey, the bees envy me. Yeah, yeah. I've got a sweeter song to sing, and the little birds in the trees. Yeah, yeah.
Good old Mr. Mark Kressel there on the guitar. My girl, I know you were all singing. You were all dancing and I hope you didn't spill anything. I've got a whole three days with Mark next week. We're doing the Blackpool Soul Festival. That's going to be nice. It's going to be nice to see the boys. We're back American artists. We never really know quite what they're going to be like until they rock up. Could go either way. Hmm. But we look after each other. And then real gigs after that. Well, it is a real gig, but it's a kind of scary. We become a backing band. That's what we are. We become a backing band for American artists. And we have no real control over how they're going to sound, except that we know we'll play their music right behind them. Sometimes <laughs> it's, it's Northern Soul, you know, and sometimes they just cannot believe that all these English people are interested to hear these B-sides that they recorded in the 1960s and never ever performed live. And by virtue of the fact that they recorded them in the 60s, some of them are getting a little bit elderly. And, and a, a poor old things, some of them look like rabbits in the headlights. <laughs> They arrive in Blackpool from Detroit and Chicago and they go, oh. One of them arrived in a fur coat once. Anyway. <laughs> but after that, but yeah, got all kinds of gigs coming up. Got a Bird in the Paradise veritable tour in July. We'll have a bit of Helen in a minute. But before that, what's going on? doing Woolwich with the trio with Johnny Thurkle and Mark Creswell. That's the 24th or the 25th of July. And then Moulton. That's bad routing. Woolwich to Moulton. But anyway, that's with Chris Bannister. Moulton. Lovely town, though. And then it's the Burden of Paradise tour. We go to Threlkeld in the North Lakes. We go to Louth in North Lincolnshire. We go to Helmsley in North Yorkshire, fantastic venue. We go to the Kirkgate in Cockermouth, back to the Lake District. That was not good routing as well. It would have been nice to stay there. I think we go to one other place. Ah, oh, yeah. No, I've forgotten. Never mind. I'm digressing a lot. I'm so, so excited to be back live. I need a mute button for myself. Just get on with the music, Snakey. And we've launched Snake Academy. The last time I checked, we had nearly 20 subscribers. Yeah! Hmm. Kind of need more than that, really. Anyway. I'm ever optimistic. <laughs> So good to see you guys. I'm concentrating so hard on, because I haven't been here for a month, I don't even look at the chat, but I'm just hoping you're happy. Because uh, Joe set me up and everything, but I haven't done it for ages. I've got to press the right buttons at the right time and all that. I taught them all in Huddersfield how to do the shallow panting breath. I don't know if they quite got it. It's a horn camp thing, really. <laughs> Igor, you, you're on board. I just glanced down to look at the tracks and I saw Igor there. Igor came to, on horn, horn camp from Switzerland. And, and now I've looked, and, uh, and Deepak's there as well. And I know Delia's there because... Because, because because I saw a message coming from <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome, guys. Don't forget. Regularly. Regularly. That's a very hard word to say if you're Japanese.
Snakey. Yes. Full moon tonight. Remember this one? <laughs> Even light and both with dim light Stars have disappeared from sight and there's no moon at all No moon at all, ever so dark Even Fido was afraid to burn What a perfect place to park in the moon at all This is something that they told us all Just to think we fell in love And there's no moon at all What a girl that Helen Watson is. Helen from Burden of Paradise and from Daphne's Flight. <sighs> Looking forward to that tour. It'll be lovely. <laughs> Always fun. Always fun. Ah, okay. I haven't played any alto yet. <clears throat> That's partly because I broke it last night. Now I'm home, I've got my own spare. But my spare is not 110 years old. It's about 70 years old. I've got it diaried. First thing in the morning <laughs> tomorrow. Call the sax mender. Any donations tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm going to say, will go towards the repair of my saxophone. <laughs> Seriously, though, thank you very much for uh, chipping in as you do now and again. If you don't, it's fine. Our guest list is huge. Our rider, is, yeah, not so bad. I was eating last night's rider today. I just realised I haven't sat down for a meal since Friday. What a stupid thing to say, as if I've had food, I've, you know, snacked in the car. That's pathetic. I retract that statement. But I am looking forward to sitting down with my Sally and seeing if I still recognise her. But I did, there was some, there was a rider last night, but 
with the Alto breaking and everything, I didn't have any time, so I didn't eat it. But I grabbed a, a couscous that they'd got us from uh, Morrison's. And, and I ate it in the car, but some of them come with a little spoon, don't they? It didn't come with any little spoon. So I'm looking around the car and I'm looking in the glove box and all that because sometimes I have a spoon in there because sometimes I eat my porridge in there. <laughs> I'm on the road a lot. I couldn't find no spoon. So I ate the couscous with a sax reed. That's, it. That's inventive, isn't it? You can't really pour couscous into your mouth after out of those little plastic things, can you? So yeah, I ate it with a sax reed. It wasn't. I made a bit more mess than I would have done with a spoon, but not as much mess as if I tried to eat it without anything. But yeah. It's a luxury actually sitting down to eat, isn't it? I'm back. <laughs> back home for a couple of days. Do you know that one, the, the, the Nearness of You? And uh, just came on, it'd be a lovely one to do, an appropriate one to do, I should say. Well, we're all back together again for the first time in a month, live. But we'll be back together, the same space at the normal earlier time, of seven o'clock next Sunday. And I'll have had three days in Blackpool, so I might be tired again. But you look after me, won't you? I might have a tale to tell. Five acts coming over. We've only met one of them before. Eddie Holman. Hey there, lovely girl. <laughs> he sings everything in falsetto. <coughs> but not as high as he used to. Many thanks, guys. So good to see you. Many thanks to Joe and Sally for sorting it all out. Keeping the home fires burning while I was away. And to you guys for checking in yet again. And of course, Mr. Simon Goulding for his gorgeous playing and that beautiful arrangement of Bessemer Mucho. And Birchie and the boys with those tracks. 
who else have we had? Mr. Mark Creswell. Many thanks. See you soon. We've had Helen Watson. Can't wait for that tour. Fakey. We can do better. My five footers, they're better than fakies. And I thought, we'll finish with Baker Street, eh? Baker Street on the old spare sax. Sing along. And uh, see you next week. We'll say goodbye before I go. Hang on in, hang on in. Birchie and the gang. Come on, guys, where are you?
Oh, man. Sally was trying to ask me stuff. So I stepped on Gareth's toes when he came in for his big solo. I'll never forgive myself. Well, I will by tomorrow. <laughs> we were just... We're, we haven't had a... Well, we've said hello, and that's about it. But we we're going to make a plan for the two under the show. We never did. I thought maybe if a few of you wanted to come up and sit in the den with us, maybe that maybe that'd be a nice thing to do on the tour under the show. So she had this idea um, to make it like not a competition, but because um, obviously we couldn't fit you all in. It's not a massive den. So send us a message if you'd like to come, and if you'd like to come, you've got to say why you'd like to come. And then we'll pick the best answers. Seems a bit mean to me. I want you all to come. <laughs> anyway, let's do that. It means I'll have to tidy up. <laughs> so yeah, send us a message if if you're free. What, when is it? I don't know when it is. Two weeks time. Sally will tell you in the chat. I reckon. That'd be fun. A few dinners in the den. I mean, you're all in the den anyway, but to be in, not only virtually, but actually physically, in both worlds, you would be. <sighs> I'm rambling. I am tired. Two weeks time. So if you're free, seven o'clock, two weeks tonight, you want to come and sit in the den with us. We'd have to tidy up the Sally. Guys, so great to see you. Always wonderful. Good to be back. And good to see you and f feel your presence. I really do feel your presence. And uh, take good care. Be kind to each other. And to yourselves. Go steady. Don't rush. <sighs> Breathe deep. See you very soon. Take care.